called Lifted Namaskar. I need a better name for it. Lifted Namaskar means nothing to a lot of like lay people who don't do yoga. So instead of bird, we'll do folded leaf, right? We'll come up, we'll drop first. I'm gonna bring your hands. Let's make sure you're stable first. Um, when you base me, get me real stable. Bring the, grab the, uh, walk towards the elbows. Bring your palms together. You're gonna drop your head through. My job is to bring your elbows together like this. Not everyone can do that. Most people will be right here, but you're really flexible. I can bring them together. You're just dropping your head and I'm gonna lift straight up. And with your feet, if this hurts your hips, um, you can diamond your knees out and your feet together, create like a diamond shape. Uh -huh. um, so you can do the straddle or the diamond, whatever. And uh, a lot of people, you feel too much pressure in the uh, hips, so you can diamond your legs if you're fine there. So what you do is you straighten your arms, push me up. I mean, I'm sorry, as the base. Instead of here, I'm gonna push you. Yeah, I'm gonna push you straight up. And then from there, I can just simply create like a moon shape with my body, right? Mm -hmm. no, no. And same thing with the fall. If I feel like a fall is coming, like rushing towards me, I want to make sure to keep my arms straight, but, but bend my knees so that you have to write, right? And because you're bound to back like this, you don't have your hands to land, so you have to be really mindful if there's a fall to let go of that and brace your arm here, okay? Do you want a base cam with me? Okay. So, do you know about the feet placement being underneath the hip bones? Sometimes people will put it right on the hip bone, okay. which is, um, it can be a little bit tense on the, intense on the feet, but also it doesn't allow the flyer's body to fold over. So you want to go right underneath the hip bones. The hip bone should be right above okay. it, but so the torso can fold all the way over, right? Yeah. You'll grab the elbows from here, fold it leave, grab the elbows, bring them together, drop their head, push straight up, find that balance first, and then from there, you're simply <laughs> going to mean? bring this arm over this way or that way. Okay. And when you do that, you can also do this. Turn, turn the feet a little bit. Okay. okay. And then because this would probably be too easy for you, take this, put both my elbows on one hand, okay. grab, and then this hand draw a line here. Because you're into art, you can draw, draw more lines. Yeah, it makes it interesting. 